Hey, this is Russ. Let, let me show you guys something. Take, take a look at this. <laughs> you know, after almost 15 months of dealing with my knee surgery, the knee replacement, you would think I've had my fair share of pain, right? <laughs> nope. It's got to move now to the hand. <laughs> Trigger finger. You ever hear of trigger finger? Let me take this thing off. Sorry if I hit the microphone there. Um, let me see if I can take this off here. Here we go. All right. So here's here's how this happened. R remember this? <laughs> Do you guys remember seeing this thing before? <laughs> I told you that I, I had to cut down some uh, tall grasses and things around my my house. This is a while ago, okay? Well, swinging this thing around, this is a sickle. And if you're into martial arts, this is known as a kama, okay? It's a martial arts weapon. But yeah, you use it to cut you cut tall grasses and things like that. You just kind of hack at it. Well, I was hacking at it um, a couple months ago, I guess. Was it? Yeah, it was about a couple months ago. And ever since then, my finger hasn't felt quite right. Maybe just holding this thing or something like that. And so what the trigger finger basically does, okay, is that when I when I bend down, let me see if I can angle this right here. When I bend down and I try to pull up, it, it'll pop. It, it doesn't just move smoothly. It kind of boop, kind of pops. And I remember my dad had one of these things. <laughs> he had a, I don't know which finger he had it, but he, he had a problem with his too. And I guess it's caused from inflammations of tendons and all sorts of whatever look it up on google or <laughs> just google it if you don't know what a trigger finger is but yeah all of a sudden i've got that now now i could bend a little bit but you know if if, if i wake up in the morning it's kind of bent kind of hard to straighten it out so what i figured i'd do is i found this plastic piece i don't know what it was from but it was kind of like a let me show you here it's kind of like a see it's like a plastic piece that curls up so I figured, you know, I'll just curl this up, stick my finger in it, and I cut it to the size, okay? And then I took some duct tape, and I taped it up. So by doing this, that immobilizes the finger, okay? Now, I saw some products similar to that. Uh, not quite, but it looks nicer, okay? On Amazon, I think it's like eight dollars and ninety-nine cents, something like that. But you know what? Here, here's another pet peeve of mine. You know, I have Amazon Prime, and I've noticed since Christmas time, a lot of these smaller items that aren't quite as expensive are now requiring you to get several items to match twenty-five dollars for the free shipping. I mean, if you paid for Prime, <laughs> you would tend to think that a lot of the products should be free shipping with the Prime because you paid for it, right? Mm -mm. So if I ordered this this splint, I'll show you here. If I ordered this splint on Amazon, it's like eight ninety nine, but it, you can get free shipping if you get twenty five dollars worth of qualifying products. I, I don't want to buy more stuff. Every it seems like every time I've bought something during this Christmas time period that wasn't quite a certain dollar amount, it's asking me to buy something else to get the free shipping. I don't think that's right. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? Have you noticed that? If you have Amazon Prime, has that changed for you too? Or or is it just me where all of our stuff is costing us more money to buy more stuff to get that free shipping that we've paid for through the Prime membership, okay? That's a, that's a side note, all right? Check into your own Amazon Prime, see what you're getting for this. Let me know in the comments if you're getting this too and if you're not too happy with that, all right? So anyways, back to my finger. Um, yeah, it's like I, I don't have enough pain to have to deal with this. So it's been for a while now. I do have a doctor's appointment coming up um, uh, in a couple of days, about maybe four more days, three, four more days. I'm going to ask my doctor about my finger. Now, I've done a little bit of research on the web, and it says that, oh, you know, we, we could... Uh, we could inject something in there and you got good i'm not injecting anything you know how i feel about injecting things okay or you can have surgery i'm not having surgery on my hand okay i'm a musician i've played keyboards and guitars and no one's touching the hands right so i'm hoping this thing will get better by itself i don't know if it will but i'm trying to immobilize it a little bit more now it's just like another thing to have to worry about 
It's just my luck, okay? I'm just falling apart. <laughs> yep. I'm going to link that video up here too for you. <laughs> I talked about me falling apart. Are you guys having these issues too? Have you had a trigger finger before? If you have, let me know. How have you been dealing with it? Did it go away? <laughs> Did it stay with you forever? What's the deal with this thing? Okay. So, it, you know, it's not like it's sprained or anything like that. It's just that when you... All right, here's my good hand. If, if I pull it down here and I try to pull it up, it doesn't just smoothly pull up. It goes, you know, kind of pops. <sighs> I'm falling apart. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I wanted to say, really. I had to complain to somebody. I might as well complain to you guys. You guys understand pain, right? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's it. No more. I don't want to say any more. <laughs> I'm done for the day. I'll talk to you guys next time.